we're going to use GUI mapping and we try to do a get and set the header property and body using CPI standard web IDE. Before the mapping step, we already have a header and property and the body. Then in the GUI script mapping step, we will set the header, change the value, change the body value, and add new header and property. And this will be the uh, uh, header and fill and body after the GUI mapping step. This is the expression that I prepare so that we can view the value in content modifier. Let's go to CPI. Okay, here I create a new iFlow, a blank new iFlow without much, uh, without no, without any step in the view in the iFlow here. So if we do a get call, do a post or get call. It will just return whatever that we pass to it like this only so now we will do step by step based on what we want to do here okay let's do it like this View one, set the value, property, text one, set the value, and the body, body I will not set, it will take from the postman, then I leave a, uh, reserve some space for the Google mapping, let's uh, display out the all the value that we want to display first like this get the header field 1 field 2 get the property text 1 text 2 and get the body also and save and deploy a moment is it deploy okay this somehow it's not successful pace S save and deploy Okay, deploying. Let me run again. Okay, now the value is it's hard coded in the first content modifier, and this is a body. Body, I just paste it here like this. Next, we're going to create a GUI script step. When we click on do it like this, there is no GUI script yet in the processing is empty. Either you can select from file system, upload a new one from file system, from your operating system, or if there are any script here you can use or you take it from a script 
collection that you already deploy and or, and already add reference for now we will newly create a script from here mouse over to this create and by default it will be created with the script one dot guri if we do it this way you're not able to change the naming of the script so it will become quite messy if you have a lot of script it will be script one script two and so on and you have hard time to tell which script is actually doing what uh, but for now we leave with this first okay now we want to set the value this is a default script that uh, CPI prepare this one normally I just delete it but we keep it for now and so we try to modify the field one from here we can do this First, we we get the value first. Fill one dot dot fill one, and then we set the header. Fill one space modify. Uh, to make all as a command you select all the line and then click control plus uh, forward slash this one ctrl plus forward slash together these two together then it will toggle the command for now I just set one first so that I can see the result immediately before I do all. So we get the get the few one and then put it as a driver and then set the driver set the, set the header with the few one naming with a value of this click OK and deploy ah, there's just some error let's see what are the error such property map for script one okay sorry my bad I should take this one first so as you can see if you if you if you if you want to test using the web IDE, every time we need to deploy and run it, then only we can see the result. Headers, I put it as a headers, header dot get field, field one. I call it like this uh, to better differentiate. So this, this is the name. This is the I call it. 
Variver V for Variver Okay Deploy again Okay, we get Field 1 modified already Through the Groovy script so now we do the others. So this is get header. So we can get properties. Get property. And then we want to get the text one okay let's say this is all the uh, all the header this is all the properties Now we want to set the property Get the text one and set the text one with modified Run it again. Text one property text one is now is doesn't look good. Let's check. <coughs> text one. This is property text one. Check on the script again. Yeah, it's a typo mistake, copy paste mistake. This is property. So it's very tedious that I have to deploy and run it every time just to see some result. And you have to either we put some content modifier or we set the trace mode and, and view it in the trace like this one right after right this is the earlier one uh, we can view it like this to see the result of the GUI script let's complete this one first So now we already set the header property. Now we want to set the body. So for body, we can do like this. Then we can get the body and it return it as a string. So this is string. And we're going to set the body. with a modified value also
and also set a new fill fill to and the value this is fill to bracket new and also property text to with the value this is text to new okay and the rest we can delete Delete all this also. Deploy already. Run again. Yes. So now we achieve what we want to do here. Everything's. All, all, all this thing modify some fill one existing fill modify existing property add new header add new property get the body and change it so this is a basic uh, different operation that we can do that interact with the previous step get some input and then infer the next step is a uh, modify the header property and body using CPI web IDE and with debug trace so with the latest one so we can see the trace also After Groovy step, you can see like this the fill, the text, and the payload. If we not using this one, okay, what else? Yep, I think that's all for this short section. Next, uh, I will show how to do this using the IntelliJ IDE. Then we can compare compare when using this web CPI web the web IDE, uh, what's the difference and how useful and user friendly it is. Okay, I will stop here.